Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. What the fuck is it doing now? I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Listen, I know you've been through a lot, but you need to help me understand what happened. Listen, I'm on your side. 
I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. I'm here to help you. But you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. Confess, and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. <sighs> Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again and again until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved.
The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. RA-9. Who is RA-9? Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't. Fair. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. I'm done. It's destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Holy 